in this video section 5.1 power equations let's start with x to the 3 fourths power now if we were to take this we're just looking at it as an expression not an equation if we were to take it and raise it to say the 4 thirds power then we would multiply exponents so this is x to the 3 fourths times 4 thirds and these cancel these cancel we're left with x to the first power so by using the reciprocal uh, in three two one by using the reciprocal power we can get rid of this and that's going to be what we're going to do so let's take a look at the equation two times x to the fifth power minus one is equal to nine we're going to use the reciprocal power here but first we need to get rid of the other operations remember the order of operations parentheses exponents multiplication addition and since we're using inverse reverse we're going in the reverse order so this will be happening last first thing we're going to do is add one to both sides 2x to the fifth is equal to 10 now we divide by 2. x to the fifth is equal to 5. Finally, we're going to get rid of that exponent. So I'm going to have x to the fifth, and then I'm going to raise that to the one fifth, the reciprocal power, and that's going to be equal to 5, again, to the one fifth, remember, golden rule, power. So our solution is x is equal to five to the one fifth. Now, in this case, I'm not rewriting the parentheses because this is just acting on five. But if there was something else inside here, say a negative five or a minus seven, then I, I would need to keep the parentheses there. Next example. Let's take a look at seven times x to the eight thirds power plus 2 is equal to 8. To begin, remember, we're going to use inverse reverse, so it's parentheses, exponents, multiplication, addition, in the reverse order, we subtract 2. Then we divide by 7. And now we're going to apply the reciprocal power. So that's the 3 eighths power to both sides of this equation. We'll fill in the rest of it around that. Okay, these will cancel out and we'll be left with just x on the left hand side. And it's going to be equal to Let's see here, that was 6 sevenths. Again, note the parentheses here. We've got some multiplication. It's both numerator and denominator. It's being acted on by this exponent. And it's not just that. I left some space for a plus or minus. Wait, what? 8. 8 is even. Just like 2. So we have a plus or minus here for the same reason we have, say, plus or minus the square root of 7 as an example. So whenever we have an even power in the denominator of this exponent, 
we need to write a plus or minus. In our previous example, we had five. Five is odd, so no need for a plus or minus. Let's take a look at another example, and as usual, it's going to be a little spicy. So, what I want to look at is two times the quantity 5x minus 8 raised to the 11 halves power then we're going to add 10 and this will all be equal to 3. Okay, now let's just go ahead and write out what operations we're going to undo. First will be the addition, then the multiplication, then the exponent, addition, multiplication, exponent, now parentheses. So we'll get rid of the addition. Then finally we'll get rid of this multiplication. Whew. That's a lot, but I think we can handle it. So we'll start off by subtracting 10 from both sides. That'll leave us with negative 7 on the right hand side and let's see here 2 times the quantity 5x minus 8 to the 11 halves on the left hand side. Now we're going to divide both sides by 2. So we'll have minus 7 halves is equal to so here 5x minus 8 to the 11 halves power. Now it's time to get rid of that exponent and the reciprocal of 11 halves is 2 elevenths. So we'll have the 2 elevenths power here, the 2 elevenths power here. We can just fill in the rest of this expression and the other side as well. I'm going to use a brace here because we've already got some parentheses. And it's good habit to alternate parentheses and braces. Okay, these will cancel out. Our new left-hand side will be 5x minus 8. And that will be equal to, we can't really simplify, minus 7 halves to the 2 elevenths power. And we really don't have much of an option. We just have to add 8 to that. And again, we can't simplify, so we're just going to have to take this and divide it by 5. So we'll have some very, very ugly solution here. But it's still our solution. Now I want to look at something here. We've got a negative and I've got an exponent. I'm taking a root. Is that a problem? Well, no. Because take a look here. 11 is the denominator and it is odd. So, as an example, take negative 3, multiply it by negative 3, then multiply it by negative 3 again. The result is, see here, 1, 2, 3, negative 27. And this is negative 3 cubed. Note the parentheses. So, if I have, say, negative 27 to the 1 third power, that's negative 3. This exists. Unlike say negative 16 to the 1 half power or negative 64 to the 1 fourth power these aren't real numbers even negative doesn't work but with an odd denominator it does all right that's it for section 5.1 power equations thanks